Wes. So what are we about to do? We're getting ready to cut a tree down. Wow. We're not just randomly cutting down a tree. We're okay. cutting down a tree that has died. And before it becomes a hazard, we are in a Oakland Gardens Park. Okay. And it's starting to get a little brittle. I was hoping to, for it to stand long enough for me to find out why it died. Okay. But I'm not going to wait around for that. It's time to get rid of it. Time to bring it down, huh? Yep. But you know what? The good thing is I'll plant another one. That's right. That's right. So what kind of tree? This is a green ash. Green ash. Yep. And we're worried about the emerald ash borer yeah. coming through, but I haven't seen any signs of that. Okay. So is that why you think the tree died possibly? Or? No, this is one of those deals where I, I can't find a reason for it to have died. Oh, okay. No root fungus, no boring activity other than what's going on now. Okay. Uh, it just gave up the ghost. Oh, how about that? That happens from time to time, right? It's probably something in the ground. Okay. You All know. right. So what do you need to do to get ready? Okay, I need to have a clear work zone for one. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I got to set the rope in the tree because I want this to be a directional fall. Okay. It's not a random fall. I need it to for sure go in the direction that I want it to go. Okay. For one reason, it's standing straight up and down. I've measured it and it, it, the tree is pretty much a straight tree. Okay. So if I'm, while I'm cutting, a gust of wind could come through and force it to go back the other direction that I don't want it to go. So right. I'm going to put this rope in the tree and uh, Jared is going to be pulling on the rope to assure that it goes in the direction that we want it to go. Okay. But before we pull on it to make it go that way, I'm, I'll be putting in a notch in the tree. Okay. The notch will go one third into the, into the wood approximately. And then I will come back in on the back side and uh, make a back cut. And it's going to go into enough to make it have at least a 10 percent hinge wow, okay. that hinge is what's going to hold it together and make it land in the right spot in the right spot yep so how far away do people need to be they need to be out of the drop zone out of the drop zone. yes okay. which would be the height of the tree okay. typically i'm cutting approximately a, about two and a half three feet from the ground okay and uh so that you know you That's gonna be weight, my waist level. Right, so waist level, okay. Yeah, I right. wanna be comfortable as I'm cutting this. Okay. I don't wanna be in a bind. I wanna make sure that my chainsaw has a full tank of gas <laughs> yeah. and that the teeth are sharp okay. and the chain is tight. All important things before yeah. you start your cut. Okay. I'll be communicating with anyone else standing around me. I, we, we may be using sign language, things like, you know, headache or stand clear or Geronimo, yeah, you know, okay. just as long as your team or your whoever, your work buddy or whomever understands the language that you're trying to interpret. Sure. No, all that makes sense to me. Yep. And I see you have all your safe, I safe do. equipment, so that's I do. good. Yep. Right, so I you don't want... wear gloves. That's one thing. Oh, you don't wear gloves. Okay. No, I don't. Is there a reason why you don't wear the gloves? I want to be able to feel the rope in my hand. Okay. I want to be able to feel the tools that I have. Okay. It, now, if there were thorns or something like that, I'd, I'd make different preparations, but... Okay. That, I've been that way my whole career. Okay, good deal. Well, Wes, we're going to go ahead and let you uh, get started with that. Okay, it is a hot day. I'm, I am going to take my safety glasses off and wipe the sweat out of my eyes. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, and I will get out of the way. Okay. It's safety, right? Safety. Mm -hmm. All right, stand clear. Headache, I'm throwing. Nice shot. I have it in the center, most strongest point. Okay, my groundman, Jared, weighs about 180 pounds, and he's going to put 180 pounds of pressure on this rope. This tree probably weighs about 2, 250, so that should be ample. Ample weight factor to get this tree over. Now, I want to make sure this is, rope is clear of my chainsaw. That's why I'm sliding it up a little bit higher and make sure that tail is out of the way. Now, I will get this out of the way, Jared, if you wanna take this. You have your hard hat and safety glasses? Got everything. Muffs, all right. Why don't you stand right there next to that brush pile. And since we actually haven't pulled a tree down together, put your rope to your, right over there. That's good. Go ahead and tighten up. Not hard, just get the rope a little tense. And your exit strategy would be to go 45 degrees behind that cypress tree. All right, and this means 
it's coming down or staying clear. I'm going to put my earplugs in, so if you have anything to say, say it to me now. I'll hold the chain, my elbow to my ribs so I don't drop start. This notch is a Humboldt notch. When this notch folds and closes, it should let, cause the tree to land flat. Tree's coming down. All right, Chris, it's safe to come back in. All right. About that. Yes. It's pretty good. Thank you. Yeah. So what do you think about your efforts here? I think we were successful. Everything went as, as planned, and that's uh, one of the important things about running a chainsaw, dropping a tree, is just having a good plan. Yeah. You know, don't haphazardly go out there and say, I'm going to go cut a tree today and yeah. without a plan. Right. Got to have a plan. How about mm -hmm. that? Yeah, this is pretty cool. I did leave one thing out. I mean, it's one of the rules, you know, I'm, I'm a professional, so okay. I have to mention this, is uh, I did not instruct, and I typically do, it's usually something that we know to do. We have plenty of cell phones here, so uh, we have to be prepared to call 911 in the event that an emergency would happen. Right. That's just, that's just general work standards. Well, Wes, we thank you so much. We appreciate it. Glad to do You're it. You're the best. That's so why it's always good to have a what? Certified arborist. Certified arborist. And that you are. Yes, sir. Thank you much. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.